Hello everyone, today I would like to teach you how to switch from one scene to another scene using C Sharp script in Unity 5. So first of all, we will make two scenes. We, first we will save our current scene. We will name it scene 1. And then we will go to file, select new scene. Now we have new scene here and then again Sorry, we will save the second scene to scene 2. Now we have scene 2. Then we will create a folder in order to keep our project panel clean and we will name it scenes. And then we will drag and drop both scenes into our scene folder. Now we can see both scenes under our scene folder. Next, in order to distinguish between these two scenes when we switch, we will select on scene 1, then here we should select open. Now we have scene 1 opened, then we will select on main camera. On the main camera, we will select solid color. Then in the solid color, we will change the background color into blue and then we will save our scene and then we will go to scene 2 we open the scene 2 now again we will select main camera we will select solid color and then we will change the color into pink so now our background for both scenes are different so if we switch it is easier for us to see that we have switched our scenes for the purpose of the game. So again, we will select on scene one. Before we proceed to the coding, we will create a empty game object. Then we will change the name of this game object to scene manager. Usually this scene manager, which is an See empty game object it helps us to connect the scripts that we want uh, to run uh, when this scene is running so we don't want to attach these uh, scripts into any other game object so we create a scene manager and uh, we just attach it to this scene manager so uh, next we will create a Folder, we will name it scripts then we will add C sharp script we will name it switch scenes great then we will we can see here that the name switch scenes is the same as the class switch scenes so the class name is the same as the file name if you change the switch scenes name here, if you change this file name, then you should go and manually change the name of the class to the same name as the file name. Then we will double click on this file. When you double click on this file, mono behavior will, which is a, which is Unity's default editor, will open our script. Here you can see that the file name switch scene is the same as the class name switch scenes next before we proceed with coding we need to add a library our library should be unity engine that scene management this library will allow us to use load scene uh, function in order to switch our scene first we need to see how we want to switch from one scene to another scene in this example we are going to press a key on keyboard in order to switch from one scene to another scene i would like to use space key in order to switch but you can use any letter or key if you like so we will i will write if input dot key get key down is 
key code, let's say space. As I said, instead of space, you can write like S, A, W, anything you want. And then close the brackets and then open this. And then here we need to, here we wrote that if the input key is pressed, is down, which is only a, a space key, then we will call sin manager dot load scene function here in load scene if we want to switch from scene one to scene two we need to write to which scene we want to switch so we will write scene two since this script is connected to scene one we, can, we need to switch to scene 2. So we need to write C2. If this function was connected to scene, scene 2, scene manager, then you had to write scene 1. Then we will save. When we save, we will go back. If you see the code also changed here, you can see the code here also. Now everything is fine. Our... Um, Script, oh, our script is not attached, attached. So let's attach our screen. Okay, we have attached our screen to our scene manager. Everything is fine. Now we have to run our game. We will add the build setting. Okay, if you want to find the build setting, you will go to like file. We will uh, press the build setting. Uh, the, another way is to uh, press uh, com com in Mac you should press command shift and B in uh, Windows you should press control shift B then you can see this window in these windows you have to let's say if these things are there you should open scenes you should select both scenes and then you can you would have to drop uh, these um, scenes into our scene uh, scenes in build and after that, uh, here, uh, because we want to see, uh, work on Mac, we will select, or PC, we will select this, and then uh, everything is fine. We will press build and run. We will, you can name your app something, like, for example, switch, and then we will save it. Uh, here you can select the uh, size well here size doesn't matter so uh, we will choose uh, 640 480 and we will use fantastic we will use windows so it will not be full screen and then we will pre press play Here you can see blue screen and if we press space it will be pink screen thanks for listening hope you learned something from it bye